straight lines are strong, so never bend and okay. never let, never go into that arch, okay? Am I in it? What kind of arch do you mean? So you'll notice, go ahead and come up on your gun for a You'll notice that he's a little bit more squared off. Okay. Um, but his natural point of aim is, is more straight. It's you still need to use this? Even though he's still angled a little bit that way, like okay. do this with your left foot. Now his hips are straight. If you ever watch a quarterback throw a ball right before they throw, they'll yeah. turn their hips and then release the ball. So this is what makes it more accurate. Okay. okay. Um, so well, that's I'm where not worried. Well, your, I guess... hips are, your hips are faced towards me right now. Right. So yeah, but don't don't do this because now you got to adjust your feet to just stand naturally. You want me to shoot, aim at you again? Yeah, now you'd be good aiming this way. But if I came over here, what would you do? So you would want me to yeah. move my feet For right now, just so you can yeah. find a natural point aim. Okay, good. Right. Okay, instinctively, I feel like I'm supposed to be a, making a smaller target, so I'm like relearning my body. Yeah. Okay. But here's a good way to put this. Yeah. If you said the word instinctually. You're not born knowing how to shoot. Right. Guns are foreign objects to human beings. We shouldn't use them. Sure. Okay. So, based on that, being straighter. So if I took all the weight of the gun and aimed this way, you get behind the gun as much as possible. But now bring your right foot forward. A little bit there. So now you're straight. Now keep this foot here. Keep that hip there, but okay. step forward just slightly with your left foot. Your left foot. Forward slightly. Left foot. Good. Okay. So that's much better. Now, what I want you to do is load into your left leg a little bit with your knee. Okay. You. Now, if I push on you, watch the difference. See the strength you have? Okay. <laughs> now, bend your back right leg. Now, watch this. Ugh. See that? You've yeah. lost all your core mechanics because we just put an angle in your back leg. Okay, okay. so keep that so one. So biomechanical efficiency, straight lines are strong, angles are weak. Okay. So this is your power leg right now. Yeah. This is your stabilization. This is skeletal alignment. Yeah. This is muscle. So now, if I say transition to your left, go ahead and turn your left. See what he do with his hips? Do it again. He just points his belt line right at the target he wants to shoot. His back. You see his legs are articulating like that. Okay. Versus, you'll see guys do this move their feet. You're yeah. slow. You just you're just behind. Okay. So now what I want you to do is in this position, just like I'm going to do, almost like we're going to we're going to just kind of lean to the left a little bit. Okay. Just work that small movement right there. Boom. See how, you, see how your natural point of aim goes because your hips tell the gun to go there? Yeah. We don't push the gun there. We don't drive the gun there. We let our hips and our body, boom, bum, bum, bum. So say you got a target here, that might be something we see you doing a shooting. Boom, boom, boom. There's two targets. One guy, two guys. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And we don't want to ever lean back. Two guys. Am because. I back? Um, you have to like physically point it out in my body. That's how long. So with the, so with the stock, put your, you put your gun up at, at your shoulder. Should we do anything with the stock placement as far as getting it close, tighter in? Yeah, it's, it's because she's compensating okay. because her arching her back right now. I am arching. Yeah. In um. So. Like this, a banana back bend arch or fo hunching forward. Yeah. So see where her stock is now. Replicate what she was doing. See how it's kind of like making this weird angle. Now come back down side. See how I have to lean forward into the gun a little bit more. But isn't he bringing his head to his gun? I thought yeah. that's what we were trying to. He still has straight, sorry, straight lines going down his body, and he could lean forward even a little bit more if he wanted to get more aggressive. Okay. Okay. Like if I'm gonna sit here and pound on him, he's gonna do that. If he stands straight up and down, like a new shooter, and I push him back, he goes back. I can push him right off the center of gravity. Okay. Okay. If he leans forward, I can't push him back now. Okay. okay. But if he bends forward too much and does the old military thing, I can push it back all day long. Okay. So that's where we get taught that shit on the set, like, hey, do this stuff. Oh, the old, operator, the old operator the old operator stance? That's old operator stance, so if you do that on the set in a movie, and other soft guys are watching you, they'll be like, okay, they had a bad Old operator body. stance, you're saying the, the, the full, like, where the you're old, almost falling over? Here, what do let's you mean? do this. Take, take the weapon off. It's more squatted. And I'll show you with, okay. with bear, like, take your rifle off and sit on the ground. Okay. So I'm going to go through three basic things here. So hands up on target, get your shooting position quick. Okay. Are you actually trying to draw a gun? Can you do that? I'm just going through a motion. Okay. I mean, just put your hands up. So don't get in the habit of doing this stuff. Yep. Then we come out and then up. We go equal out and up. So if I could draw a 45 degree line with my handgun, I would go boom up to the target. Well, I mean, I was taught to like just clear my hand. You taught you that. No, I mean, I'm not doing. I'm not doing what I did before. That was just me taking a motion, but yeah. No, that's, that's a big misnomer, just a lot of people, again, we look at mechanical efficiency, so come back and put your hand in your handgun. Okay, see, so for this, see how far back his elbow is? Mm -hmm. See all the space? He just went too much distance. See his shoulder, how high it is? Yeah. Now, keep your hand in your gun. Relax your shoulder. 
put your elbow, check your wing out. Now lean forward in your stance. That's how you grab your gun. Okay. So now bring the gun up and out. Keep wild enough to target. Now put it back in. We're not gonna be drawing hand guys, but just to give you a point here. Now go back and do your really st stiff drawback. Okay. Right. Come back in. Yeah. See the shoulders up. Now come out and target as fast as you can. See it did it with up and then out. It didn't go equal out and up. Okay, so it's a very simple thing. If you want a faster draw on a handgun, go equal out and up. Don't come up like this. That comes from the tactic draw. Guys doing this shit. Are you always doing that? That's the question. If so I this, am, different story. Okay. So this is this is so a gonna, better preferred elbow out. Just here's just the reason. Here's the reason. Straight. Here's the reason why we do that. It's to. about straight lines, just like the legs we us. So put your hand in your gun. There's a straight line. That's stronger. Okay. Right. If you start doing that, see, so it just T-rexed. Yeah. And T-Rexes are dead because they couldn't masturbate. Okay? Or throw frags. <laughs> Which has nothing to do with drawing a gun. But <laughs> it, it it's got everything to, to do with drawing a gun. <laughs> T-Rex is not masturbating? Yeah. If, yeah, if you don't like, masturbate if, enough, do you die? Yes. That's, that's, that's actually true. It's science. Yeah. It is. It's science. I think so. We study this in our lab. Yeah, you're, you're, you're on like a How long? <laughs> <laughs> how many days? If I, I mean. Yeah. Okay. About three hours. Anyway. We're just having days in between. No, so that's what we're really looking at is just keeping those lines straight. So now, if we take his carbine and put it on, because that's what's going to be all running. So going to put that on now. And just like I did with you a second ago. Because what I'd like to do is first, when we go back, we can just test all the stances on you guys that are, don't shoot a lot. Now, same thing. Load into the left leg, bring the gun up on target. Okay, so all the energy recoil is coming across your shoulder, so I'm bring this down inside your shoulder a little bit. Don't be so tense. Yeah. Remember, excessive amount of tension in anything in life is bad. I got my sling in my cheek, though. It's it because it's probably way too tight. And now I just want you to point your junk at him. But let that junk take the gun with it. Wherever your dick is pointing is what's going to die. See that? That's your natural point aim now. See how there's no tension in your legs anymore? You yeah. Is this a problem? I mean, is this going to work with my legs, though? It Absolutely. Work so yeah. Now, go back to him. But keep your sights on now move your eyes over here eyes now bring your gun to your eyes go there it is oh, see the difference oh, yeah, okay huge. so eyes move then guns move yeah. mm. all right so and then we're really condensing like a lot of freaking knowledge here really quickly but stance is going to make us look good and if we do get it to like boom 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 we just don't want you driving guns like this and it's like snapping guns up you come up on target and you shoot mode. so what we're doing is practicing the concept of more is or less is more in this case mm. okay. the problem is is that and I'm in obviously in totally agreeance, but the only problem is is that what it looks like in film and what it looks like are two different things. But we're gonna make it look like right. it should look. What are you saying though? I'm right, curious. that's right. I'm curious what you're saying. I'm curious, you're gonna go back to Hollywood. They're, and they're gonna tell you to do different. Yeah, you know what's what what happened? Well, what we're talking, what we're for, talking about what we're talking about is efficiency and speed. Uh, we're talking about efficiency of motion, right? Yeah. And if, the more efficient you are, the faster you look. The problem is that doesn't translate all the all the well on film. Some sometimes. No, I mean things. I did I did take a class that was taught by. Which is why they'll make it more dynamic and springy and all that stuff. Well, literally, there's guys that are out there trying to make it authentic that they're trying to translate on film like so it's literally combat training for actors where like a, like a common thing that actors will do is like close their eye when they're looking through their their scope yeah. or something and like, well, like in so hollywood it's it's, you know you want to keep your eyes open no matter what both eyes play on camera you, you know right. things and, like that in hollywood you, they that, also that's that's another whole rabbit hole that isn't addressed in the military right. some people can't do that even when they try What's some that? people have stigmatisms. Both. Some people can't shoot with eyes. Open. Some people right. will yeah, have to But that's what I'm saying. But in can on camera, ideally Hollywood <laughs> no, prefers right. even well, whether or not it's right or wrong for the actors to always have their eye open. Yeah, which you, you should. You know. In combat, you're not going to shut down 50% of your vision. Right. Makes sense. Right. If you can or kill it. your depth perception. Right. Or kill yeah. your depth perception. And also, you're blind, like also, force blind to anything going on the, over the here. The problem is, and I'll talk about the biggest factor here is that under dynamic stress or critical stress situation, you. I mean, I'm talking critical stress. You got a T-Rex chasing you. Okay. <laughs> you're not going to shut down 50% of your vision because of what the human eye does. Right. Um, so. Not shooting. It doesn't we'll matter. Shoot. Well, why, why do you say you have to close an eye? So I see double and I don't have depth perception. My brain when you, doesn't. When you put a gun up in front of your face? Yeah, my brain doesn't put the two images together. So. Everybody I, sees that. Yeah. No. You just have to learn which of these images you have. Because we have binocular vision. Right. We have one sighting system. Yeah. So we have the 
what we call the convergence this or divergence of the strain. Yeah. So I need to yeah. Like cross yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So when I take two yeah. lasers and put them out on that wall, yeah. well, they, they don't yeah. blend yeah. until that wall. Right. So now if I take a precision optic and put it up into two lines, yeah. 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 And so yeah. there'll be a, now there'll probably be a lot of. So I don't want you to look through the optic. I want you to look at me. Okay. And just bring the gun up. Got it. The NRA. You're on target. You look good on camera. Bring it back down. And do it again. So you look good. Okay. Right down. Draw a gun without crossing the muzzle. Okay. That's what you're good. So even if it's not aligned, so what I want you to get. If I draw. Interesting. How about a rescue op? Two-man team about a week ago. And Mr. Last Chicken. Your boys are uh, rock stars. Man. Your team's good but they've never seen a dinosaur up close, let alone a 40-foot predator face-to-face. -face. I still think it's a lot of trouble for somebody that I don't think is going to fit on the team, man. I get it. She's lived this. you got to trust me. We need her. Ah! 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 Ah!